New developments at the state capitol may help this boy. Following our story, today lawmakers heard a plan that would let students like Jack Split use medication with cannabis in it at school. Seven News reporter Lindsay Watts first introducing us to Jack. She's at the state capitol where, Lindsay, that bill has passed in committee. Eric, this is a broader medical marijuana caregivers bill that passed today with the addition of Jack's Amendment. Of course, named after Jack Split, who came with his mother to attend the hearing. Jack uses cannabis for severe cerebral palsy, but his medicine isn't allowed at school, and his mom says that's made it difficult for him to learn. When Longmont Representative Jonathan Singer saw our story about Jack, he decided to try and change the law. He says this would not let students smoke medical pot at school. This would pertain to oils and patches like what Jack uses. Singer also tells me that the amendment would not require schools to allow cannabis, but would give them the option. Jack's mom said when we did our first story with her, she never thought we'd end up here at the Capitol. Well, um, I've spent a lot of time thinking about it, and just this morning I thought, wow, here we are. And I had people calling me from other states saying, how are you doing this? How did you get here? There were a few other families here, too, talking about how their children could go to school if this bill passes. One mother moved with her son from North Carolina so she could treat his epilepsy with cannabis. I didn't hear anyone speaking against Jack's amendment. A police chief who came to talk about other aspects of the bill seemed supportive. The measure does have a few more votes before it potentially becomes law, but we will continue to let you know what happens next. We're live at the Capitol. Lindsay Watts, 7 News.